Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Valheim on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. Hello, Tony. Barbaric, Wisconsin. Flat broke. So, of course, logic chance. The day I decided to come in and poke around in Valheim a little bit, the, the, the update drops for the uh, um, Enshrouded, huh? So I'll look at that this afternoon in the episode. Sound good to you guys? We'll look at that this afternoon. Let's poke our head in here for a couple hours and see what we have, what we don't have, and all that good stuff. Everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. And yes, that's the one we want. Progression. Okay, so I did kind of a survey with you guys. And the, the results that I got was there were pe six people that said start over. There are eight that say resume. And there are eight that say either or. So the resumes pretty much have it by just a couple votes. So, I thought we'd come in here. I want to see exactly what I have resource-wise in here. And we'll uh, take a look. Let's take a look at what our food supply looks like and things of that nature. And we'll fiddle around inside Valheim for just a little bit today. we got to let things load in. It takes a second for a whole place to kind of stop bumping around. Georgina, hello. But this afternoon, what I'll do is I'll spend a couple hours on Enshrouded. And we'll take a look and see what's going on with the update. In the meantime, if you guys want to talk about it in the uh, comments over here, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and switch my screens up real quick here, too. There we go. Pull you guys a little bit closer to me. I'm on the roof, obviously. Hmm, got some things showing through the roof here, don't I? Beep. Off the roof. There we go. It's a huge update. Lots of changes. Really? Okay. All right. Sweet. That'll be cool. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. We'll take a look at it, like I said, this afternoon. That'll be great. Well, then, maybe what I do is I'll start... We've got to finish up the quest in the first one. We still have the one quest to do, uh, and then it's over with. Look at this place. We're back. <laughs> I know. Um, the intent of this was to always have this world, uh, hopefully, until the game finishes, right? That was the idea. Everything's repaired. Good deal. So, I feel like I do want to try to resume. Somebody said they thought they saw on the map a traitor icon... I don't think so. We've not discovered... Um, what's her name? Hildy. We've not discovered Hildy. I think some folks were saying maybe up north would be a good place to go look. Right, right up in here. We know there's a bone mass up there, so that's already a done deal. There's a swamp right here, obviously. Um, but we could do a little bit of this out here and just see if we could find anything that, um, you know, is going to work for us. I don't know. If we don't find her, then um, then we will have to start over. I guess that's the idea, right? If we can't find her, we start over. So We'll see what we can do. Uh, the chickens are being chickens. Let's see what we have for a food supply. New mobs, uh, NPC, dungeons, trees to plant. All right, and a bunch more. New mobs, huh? New area opened up as well? Or is it just new mobs in the same area? It's got to be new mobs in the uh, a new area, right? What do we got in here? We are honey, glow mushrooms. I believe I need um, those berries from the plains. We got some turnips. I probably should check the onion crop to see if it's ready to go. We've got some meat in here. We don't have a whole lot of that, the, in the entrails. We were just starting to catch fish at the end of our last season there. Oh, cloud berries. How many do I have? Eight. Yeah, I think we need to go get some cloud berries because I was making some more of the... It's just the medium stamina potions, but uh, these are fermenting. Okay, those are in the works. Okay, so I've got some onions planted. Let's go out there and get those uh, harvested up. We'll grab our uh, hoe here. So I noticed what I have here is a home portal 2, which is unconnected. I'm thinking that this might be... What is this one here? 
This is home. So we have a home and a home too. And home is connected, but I don't quite recall where that's connected to. So I might go in there just to see where that actually takes me. I don't know. And this is wood two, home two, right? Home number two. Yeah, okay. So that's the one we were using to come back and forth. Home two. Uh, our locks is fine. Oh, I, I grabbed the tool. Okay. The tool. I got the tool in my hand. Uh, these guys are not quite ready yet. Oh, it is ready. Healthy. Some are ready. We're not quite there yet. Hey, piggy. I usually prefer until the whole crop is ready to go. That way I don't have to sit there and do that. So let's just hold off on that a little bit. Uh, our boar situation, we have two, four, five out here. Uh, Ninja's got just a short bit of time. Dolly, uh, Hilder will definitely have a spawn on your map. Will definitely have a spawn on the map. How, how do you say definitely, Dolly? Hey, Terry. <clears throat> They've added the instant... Instance dungeons, which have new NPC mobs and new crafting systems, like instant dungeons. Let's see, uh, Flatbrook says, new NPC, the crafting station uses the magic chest, which is really cool. Round doors and windows, oh, that's exciting. New dungeon in each biome, new weapons, building blocks, furniture, decorations, potted plants, stack splitting. Nice. Well, we already could split a stack, but you couldn't, like, just take out, like, if you needed one. You couldn't just take out one. You had to keep splitting and splitting and splitting and splitting. Hey, Chris. Uh, Multi-shot no longer consumes multiple arrows. <laughs> oh, really? Although, I gotta say, I've been playing with it the whole time now that we since we jumped up to that, and it's not been bothersome for me at all, making the new arrows. Iron isn't so bad to get in the game, really. Uh, on unexplored area in meadows, you will find her. Okay. Keep in mind she spawns far from spawn. Okay. All right. Then we'll have to uh, we'll, we'll have to you know do we'll do a stream of this here and uh, here and there. What I'm going to do is we're going to start our next season when Ashlands comes out, and if we can find her between now and then, um, being here, we'll go ahead and we'll just keep we'll just keep going with our place because I really love being here. The other suggestion was too, guys, and we got to keep this in mind too, that we can always pick another spot in our world here in Valheim and build something else. So we can always do that too. Enemies can block wand shots now. Ooh, that makes sense because it's pretty easy to, you know, it's pretty easy to uh, just hold your shield up and just keep spamming the wand. That's going to be a challenge for me then. Uh, okay, so we have onions growing, but I'm going to have to... Let's go see what we got over here. I think in... I don't... I, I, I know I've got a chest somewhere in here with prepared food in it. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got our sausages. We've got a few of those. What is this here? This is probably the wolf jerky. Yeah, the wolf jerky. And then we're eating onion soup, so that's why I was growing onions, because I wanted to make some more onion soup. Okay, so we're going to work on the onions. I've got eight. I got eight on me, right? We haven't picked them all up yet. And then here, I've got ingredients for potions, it looks like. And over here, we've got a couple of small potions. Up here, I think, is where I'm keeping a lot of the stuff. What are these? Major healing meads. Oh, that's, that's good to see. Okay. Are these guys done? Yeah. We'll go ahead and get the other one started. Major healing and major healing. Beautiful. And we will take you guys and drop you. Oh, no, cancel. There we go. We'll put you guys in there. Awesome. Okay, so that restocks our stamina. So onions is really all I need for that onion soup. Do, 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 do. I do plan on going through some of the portals today. I want to go check on our locks farm too and see how that is. Okay, so these guys are really taking a tick to do. Let's go check the uh, 
Go check, check the shop, see what we've got in our boxes. I think I'm a little low on stone and wood. So that's a couple of things we go out and get. Uh, we've got some wood there. That's the log, gotcha. Stone. Uh, okay, that's that's the miscellaneous stuff. And then this was overflow, and I think this is kind of just a little overflow too. Yeah, I've got these guys in here, but I can actually put these guys up in here. There we go. Boom. All right, so we've got enough of that stuff because I'm not using a whole lot of it. What's back in here? Uh, oh, I got some birch seeds. Ten birch seeds. Let's get those planted today. Fir cone and pine cone. It's it's the it's the beech trees that we want. We need the beech trees. I don't think I've got the tree farm planted up on the hill here across the way. Come on, Funyuns. Oh, Funyuns. I guess I'm picking onions this way. I want to make a few soups before I run out. If it says pick up, I'm taking it. For Snickety, just wanted to pop in and say hi, hello. Likely going to pass on this series since I missed all the old episodes. I will catch up with you guys on the next game. Uh, we are actually preparing for that. Really, for Snicky, you missed the, uh, I guess you missed the, huh, you missed the Valheim series. Now, I think we got like 75, 76 episodes, something like that in here. We got our little hat on, our little glowing hat. <laughs> These guys are ripening right in front of our eyes. Picking is a bit tedious. Granted, I was better at it back when we were playing this all the time. It's been, uh, it's been a little while since we played. I thought I lost this world. I really did. I thought for sure it was. I thought it was gone, but uh, it, it's not. We we have it, which is fantastic. But we'll get serious about it when Ashlands comes out. Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah, these guys are just about ready to pop here. If we give them just a tick. They'll uh, they'll go ahead and pop. Right before our eyes. Uh, Persnickety says uh, they added uh, new huge dungeons, new NPC and crafting stations, all kinds of new stuff. I heard that. Yeah, we've been talking about it. Flat broke what gave us kind of a, a rundown of barbaric as well. Everybody is. Hey, Gold Dragon. Everybody has. Yeah, that's really great. I probably should have checked that this morning before I came on to see if there was an update. I checked my graphics card. That's what I did. But I had planned on doing this just so we could come in here and kind of freshen up and see what we have, what we don't have in the game. I guess I should probably plant some more onion seeds too, huh? Uh, number six. Cultivate. Let's go right click and we want some onion seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to kind of see how many, um, how many onions I actually have when we're done here picking them. Uh, let's go sleep the night of why. Might as well keep it bright out here. Oh, we've got to close the door because Rascal's in here. We don't want him. We don't want him getting out. And I haven't even got my rest buff yet. Uh, okay, so Terry, you're right. The last thing we were doing, we were kind of working on that Fenris armor. 
We've got most of it there. I believe it was the gloves that we had not uh, done. I'd have to pull them down and see what they, they are. I'm not really working on that today. I just want to check resources today and see what we've got um, for resources hanging around. Uh, but that is something we're going to want to look at too, is that Fenris armor. See what we've got. Well, come on now. Out the door you go. There you are. We'll have to take a look. All right, let's see what else we got here. Boop, boop. Come on. Pick, 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 pick. There we go. All right. How many onions do I have? I have 40. I got 50 there. I just ate an onion. Uh, I want to shift click that. Ha! I ate that onion. All right, I'm going to put 15 more in the ground. I don't know why I just did what I did there, but we're going to put 15 more in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful. Georgina loves her Fenris gear. Makes you feel speedy, huh? Speedy's good. Uh, I need to fix my... There it is right there. Oh, there we go. We need to fix the... The rake. The cultivator. Uh, number six. There we go. Perfect. And then let's go back and get our axe put back on to number six. There we go. So we've got a few onions there. Not a whole lot, but a few. Let's go make some soups. So we have our soup reestablished. I believe the soup is our stamina, right? I think. Onion soup. There it is. <laughs> Barbaric says, cheating, going to check out update during work since it's quiet today. A quiet day? A 6.6 .6 gig update. I guess that means that's big, huh? I installed Red Dead Redemption 2 on my PC. Yes, I did. You will see some of that for sure. I've owned it for so long, I, I need to uh, I need to do it. Uh, I can make jail cell walls now. Ah. I got nobody to put in jail. You know? Nice, there we go. That's perfect. And let's go ahead and eat one of those. And uh, that's got 10 minutes left on it, so we'll just leave that alone. Perfect. We've got some more soup. I'm going to put you guys right there. I'll put you guys right there. All right. Oh, I... Do I need the cultivator when I'm planting? Yeah, I do. I need the cultivator for planting trees. Of course you do. If you're planting something, you need the cultivator. Taking that back. Uh, maybe we should take our locks up there. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Boop. Boop. Hey there, beauty. Oh, who loves me? Nope. Uh, 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 don't knock over my trees, please. I gotta remember how to drive the dang thing. <laughs> you just hold W and move your mouse. Boom, 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 Oh, I'm getting the fire. Yeah, we're running. Look at us. Speed of light. Be there in no time. We have some trees up here, but not very many, huh? There you go. You hang out right there. If somebody comes after me, you kill them. That's the idea, anyways. Uh, oh. Okay, and then we want the birch saplings, of course. I've been, if I remember right, I've been planting the birch in the middle so I could chop these guys down and have them fall on top of it and just, you know, bust them. Bust them up. 
I'm planting them on a little bit of a ridge here so that they... Uh, I could get to the trunks a little bit better. Although now we know we could just use our pickaxe on the trunks. Right? Right. And there's just one more of those, and I will put you right there. Perfect. And... Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Ding Dong. Hi. Hey, look at this. What is this? It's trouble. Crush this thing. Oh, you missed. <laughs> to the moon. To the moon. Nice work, punk. Come over here and mess with you. Oh, don't, 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 no, don't, uh, don't, don't, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. You are panicking. Oh, for God's sakes. Really? Did you, you wiped out one of my trees at least? Oh, man. Needs more room to grow. Can't do nothing about that. <sighs> Dang it. Big lummox. I guess that's kind of my fault, huh? <laughs> I got it all riled up. Okay, so I need more, far more space. I forgot. Got big, big, big spaces for these. Okay, there we go. This one here is looking unhealthy as well. You get a, plenty of space for him. Talk on it. Yeah, I got at least three of these guys. Is not going to cut the mustard here. Cut the mustard? What the heck? Plant a few more of these on this hillside. And I got one left. There we go. I got more than one left. What do I have left? 36? I think I'm good. Alright, well, now I remember how the trees work. Dang it, Jim. Cutting the cheese. We tried to build something up on this, didn't we? Wish there was a way I could fight with the pig. I, I guess you could just run it over like we just did. <laughs> but I wish there was a way to fight while you're actually on the locks. I need to feed it some grain, I think, is what it needs. Well, here's a couple. Here's some dudes to fight. You should have done that. You should not have done that. Wash out. Oh, you are dead. Go get the other ones. These guys right over here. There you go. Where, where are you going? There you go. <laughs> we ate the red one. Nice work. Nice work. Look at you. Such a good locks. Okay, now he's not running around panicking after that. What the heck? I think they're really awesome. I wish they were a little more functional. Maybe they will be... It says it's frightened. Now it says it's hungry. All right, so maybe I'll go find the portal to the plains and we'll go over there and see about getting some cloud berries for uh, for her. Can't you feed it? I th no, we could do the barley too, right? We could feed the barley. I think I've got some. Let's go see. This could be wider. <laughs> this could be about twice as wide. It would be nice. That, we, that could be a decent upgrade for us here. And we'd still need to figure out where we're going to actually have a place for her to be. Because right now she's just kind of here. So we kind of talked about putting something out this way, I think. Taking in some of the land over here and putting her in over here. Some kind of a pen down here. Maybe a, a dock that's a pen. You know? Oh, the stump that was up there. Yeah, maybe I should have... You know what? Let's run up there real fast. Come on. Sorry, I should have removed that stump. It's probably too late now. I forget. Sometimes the rocks do that too, don't they? If there's a rock nearby or something, it'll screw it up. I 
not dead yet. Let's get this out of here. You're right. I think it is this. You're absolutely right. Let's see. That help? Healthy. Nice. Good call. Good call. I'm glad I saw that when I did. <clears throat> Way to go, Gina. That's it. That was exactly what it was. Over here, it's the workbench. Where is it? There it is. Uh, let's move this up to here then. There we go. We'll get rid of this rock too. The axe has a great overhead s smash. You can chop down with the axe now too. Oh, hello. Frostner. Um, let's see. You can chop down with the axe now too. Chop down with the axe now too. Like the stump. Oh, are you talking? Oh, you're talking about. You're talking about the new block, red marble, is that for the, the, for in, enshrouded, right? A new red block. Did they add anything in there for illumination? Because they've got some amazing options for lighting. Yes, enshrouded, okay. Thank you. Lavella, hello. You're, you're not late. You're fine. We got two hours of this. Just watching me roam around. We're refreshing our memories here on what we have and don't have here in Valheim, which is super enjoyable. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This would be my second favorite right now, right? I mean, it's, well, I don't know. Enshrouded's great. Don't get me wrong. I love Enshrouded. It's it's awesome. This has got a little more free world to it, I guess. A little more, um... The world feels a little more random, I guess. Is that is that the right word for it? Where it's just, um... You know, like the enemies that attack us. I guess I do know that there's going to be skeletons up on that hill every time I go up there because there's one of those dungeons right up there. Um, I know that's going to be a thing, but as you're walking through the forest, it's just these random guys show up all the time, you know? They're not in any particular area. Unless it's one of those things you find that has the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the route that the, the wizard's at. Oh, God, I can't even think of what it's called now. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. Um, okay, some wood. Yeah, we could probably go chop down some trees. But I would like to go get those cloud berries just so we can feed. I think she'll eat the... Um, barley. I think she'll eat barley. I'm pretty sure she does. Boop. Okay, a little bit of meat. Do I have any barley in... Oh, I do. Oh. There we go. Uh, let's go shift and let's take out five. There we go. Let's go feed her. She'll eat flax too? Really? She eats flax? Ugh. Did that sound... It, they both sound extremely dry to me. <laughs> extremely dry. Uh, and... Yoink, there you go. There's some food. 
There you go. There you go. You eat your food. There you go, you big lemmix. You big loxum. Mm-hmm. There you go. You got food. All right. I feel good about that. Uh, speaking of food, we probably should eat too. Boink, boink, and a boink. There we go. And... Okay, so now I need to... We need to go to... Is the sun going down? I think the sun is just kind of coming up, isn't it? I can't remember what time of day we're in. So, yeah, we were working on the Fenris armor here. We had quite a bit of it. We got the hood. I think we've got all of it. We just need to finish, like, the last level of it or something. We're wearing this suit right here. The padded armor is right there. So we've got all that on. What do we got over here? We have a, an old bronze sword. Hmm. Rascal, what's in this chest by you? Uh, looks like we got our extra weapons. We got the porcupine in there. Um, we've got... What is that? That's the, uh, the abysmal harpoon. Another hoe. A red hat. We got an extra ming yord. Sorry if I'm saying those wrong. We'll get back to it and get it right. Uh, I've got stuff to make a portal in here too, it looks like. I got... Eggs? <laughs> oh, you know what? That's just in case for some reason we happen to lose our chickens. At least I've got some eggs. Because we have chickens actually... We have new chickens. I've hatched some. Because we need feathers. So I have... Uh, chickens up here. This is our, our chicken room. Chickens? Well, hold on. What the heck? That will kill you, huh? I would like to actually kill this chicken. Oh, you know why I need the butcher knife, don't I? <laughs> I need... I need the butchering knife. That's a bad place for that trophy. Need the butcher knife. Hold on. And I believe if I throw some barley in with the chickens, I can get them to start laying eggs again too. Which we might want to do. How is the egg situation? I've got stuff for bread. I've got some more barley over here. So we've got a little bit of barley. Uh, I don't know why I have it in two different places, but I'm going to take that out. Did I not pick up those eggs? I guess I didn't. Wait, this is processed. This is processed already. Okay, this is raw barley here. Oh, this is flax. Oh, I fed it flax. I didn't even read that. Jeez. Radio. Okay, so I fed her flax. I feel bad about that now. <laughs> I do. I do. I've got some uh, carrot seeds. Uh, why read, right? Just look at the picture. Look at the pictures. Wolf meat. Oh, this empty. This is just so empty over here. It's ridiculous. I need to grow a bunch of onions and a bunch of the beets, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, I've got food on me. Yep. Feed them flax. That's what I do. We'll sleep the night away. We'll go over to the plains to see about... Uh, excuse me, Rascal. We'll see about the... Uh, see how the lox farm is doing. Go put ourselves in a little bit of danger here. Sounds like a great idea since I'm so rusty. Let's start out by going into the hardest place. Well, one of the harder places. That's all right. Now, which one is my main portal? Oh, it's going to rain here. Okay. Oop. Kind of laggy. Portal hub. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, this is our portal hub. Kill the chickens? Yeah, I guess I was going to kill the chickens. I got the knife. We'll kill the chickens. <laughs> we will. I'm obsessed about these berries because I need them for, um, oh, mislins. Our uh, potions. Swamp. Frost cave. Silver port. The forest. Wolf. Oh, the forest. 
Merchant. The Shrine. Tar. Uh, hmm. Tar. Where is my portal for... That's weird. Uh-oh. Where's my portal for the Lux Farm? Wolf? A merchant? The shrine? And the tar? Uh... Huh. <laughs> it says tar on it. Let's go through here. I don't... This is not going to be the right one, though. You'll need plenty of fire resist wine in the first part of Hilder's quest. Yeah, this is not this this is not the correct portal for us to be in. Hmm. Maybe it's the one back at home. Yeah, I went around the room twice. It's not it's none of these in here. Oh, I know where it is. It's the one... We've got one back by the windmill, I believe. Makes sense that that would be the one that would take us out to that farm, right? Right. Uh, we need to go this way. Ooh, oh, goodness. <laughs> the ocean is up. The lake is up. Here we are. This is the one we're looking for. Maybe it's not raining over here? Uh, we're not that lucky. I thought sometimes you get lucky like that, right? Oh, it did, it did stop. Okay, good, good. What do we have over here? We have some wood and a little bit of stone. Um, we've got stuff to plant. Barley and flax for planting. Alright. Do we have anything growing? No, there is nothing growing here. There's one of our locks off on the hillside there. Um, hmm. Well, they're kind of all over the place, aren't they? I guess they're kind of surrounding our area. Well, we got one fighting over here. In order, to, I need to get these guys kind of pulled back in again, I think. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of them moved over here. Hey, guys. What else did you kill over here? Um, okay, I believe I've got a saddle over here. Let's get some of these guys moved back over because they are really getting far, far away. These are our breeders right down here. We keep those guys in there. So, yeah, okay, you've got the saddle on you, actually. So that's what I need. I need that saddle. Uh, remove saddle. Left shift and E. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, Robert. Yeah, Valheim. We're just uh, kind of in here checking on what we've done. Uh, I want to put the saddle on you. I think I have to have it in my inventory, that my hotbar, right? There we go. I know the locks loves me. Let's pull these guys back down here into this little valley right here. This is where I had them before. What the heck? Does it not go back right into my inventory? Did I not? I didn't pick it up. Where's the saddle? I did pick it up, right? What am I missing here? I, I'm, I'm missing my saddle. Where's the saddle? 
Oh, there it is. No, that's a rock. What the heck? Oh, it's on here. <sighs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what the heck? Aha! I should go kill him. Yeah, that took care of that. Let's grab this farthest one out. Number six. There we go. Can I pick stuff up while I'm on his back? I don't think you can, right? I don't remember you being at... Yeah, you can't do that. That's too bad. Uh, now that one's taken off into the woods. Oh, you know what I should... Oh, you know what I should have with me? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's run back to the hut real, real quick. I should have some barley on me so I can get these guys breeding again because it looks to me like I'm kind of little low on my locks population here. I'd like to have a bunch of them here. Well, that's a bunch of stone in there. Let's take... 25. We'll take these guys and put these back. And then I'm going to split these into a stack of five. And we'll just start breeding a few pair. There we go. Let's get these guys going. These guys should both be able to see the food if I throw it right down here, I hope. Kind of in the middle of them. There we go. Kill another one. There we go. <laughs> okay, you. You're not doing too good. You're hurt. You're really hurt. keep doing that. I keep hitting shift E to put the dang thing on its back. It's back to fighting again already. Alright, let's go ahead and drop some food right over here, too. Maybe this will get you to heal up. Come on over here and get that food. Yeah, Valheim. Very relaxing game, for sure. Do I have not have any arrows? Of course I do. There's a Skeeter down there. Wow, that bow shoots really, really far. This is the best one at the moment, I think, is what we've got going on here. It's almost a direct shot. Get him! Stomp. Alright, good deal. And then we'll get these guys breeding over here. There you go. You guys have a baby. So we should have some lock, locks babies coming now. I would think. And I'll put a little bit more of this right over in here too. Alright, let's go get that last one. I hit shifty. There we go.
I don't want to run back over the top of what I've already grabbed. Uh, yes, one more way out here. Uh, maybe I should do some kind of a pen. I don't know. I kind of like the fact that they're just roaming around out here free, you know? Well, they're not really free. I'm manipulating them, but it's nice to have this big army of them right around here. I'm holding down uh, right click to shoot. Hmm. I have to work on my, uh, my, uh... <laughs> Moron. You know, walk in the middle of that. Free range locks. Yeah, they taste better, don't they? When they're free range? Uh, what'd you guys do with his guts? I'm looking to see about picking that up. I don't want to pick up your barley, though. Oh, whoops. Misfire. Uh, that's okay. We're just going to leave that alone. I can't see it, so I'm going to leave it alone. Can't run up the walls anymore? I thought I could jump up these walls. I guess it's got to be dirt, doesn't it? There we go. Uh, do we have any stuff? Nothing's cooking up here. Alright, well then we should probably do a little bit of planting, right? Let's plant something. We were kind of low on flax, it looked like, at home. So maybe we'll plant a little flax while we're out here. We'll do uh, 100 flax. And I'm just going to throw that back in there. And the saddle, I think I will leave in here too. There, I think it's better inside there than it is on its back. And we are planting flax. Probably planting these a little too far apart from each other, but that's okay. I've not heard anything about when, I think we talked about this through the day, Ashlands, I've not heard anything about when it's actually going to update, but they've been releasing a lot of information about it in screenshots, and they're doing these little video walks where they kind of walk along and talk about what they're doing while they're in the Ashlands. So you get kind of an idea what the world looks like behind them. It reminds me a little bit of the swamp, I guess. That sort of a uh, look to it. Just the haze of the smoke and stuff. Almost like, you know, there was a wildfire or something that went through there. I need to eat. I just want to make sure that when we're ready to move on, which we will, I think we're going to skip to keep this as a stream at the moment until Ashland's drops. Like I said, what we'll do is we'll go out a few times on here and we'll tinker with the world a little bit. Uh, see if we can find Hildy. It's Hildy, right? Hildy is her name. Hilder's sister. See about finding her. Uh, Dolly says, believes the open test begin next month. Half of May, somewhere in mid-May, maybe a release on it? Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad to me. I didn't think it was going to be too much longer. The other update, of course, I'm waiting for is the uh, seven days to die. Uh, there we go. We only need two more of those. Okay. That takes care of that. Okay, I can't go through the portal with the metal. That's fine. We're going to go back and harvest the chickens. That's growing. The locks of breeding. Hopefully we'll have some babies. Some wild babies born out here. Oh, is that one there? That's a rock. 
With all these locks together, we should see some baby action, I would think. Alright, so we took care of our locks population. Yeah, we don't have very many. I think we had twice as many last time. Do we have any more down here in this little gully? Okay, there's one way down in there. Okay, up, up you go. I keep trying to double jump. <laughs> we got these two down here. That's good. Okay, we need the cloud berries. Oh, I almost forgot to grab cloud berries. That's why I came here to begin with. And to see our wonderful locks, of course. You gotta love the locks. They're pretty handsome. I wish... And we this has been talked about so much, but it'd be so cool if you could attach a cart to it. Oh, you got a, you got somebody's needle down here. I'll take that. I'll take that little needle. Uh, you guys are really getting pulled back into that into that area there. More black metal. They're killing the pigs. We'll let them have it. Cloud berries. Oh, there we go. You know what else I haven't done is defeated Yoglith the second time so we can put the head on the wall. That's not something I'm looking forward to. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, the locks eat the cloudberries too, yeah. These are mine though. I can't I can't grow cloudberries, right? You can pick them, but you can't grow them, so I I ever I'm not gonna give them my cloudberries. <laughs> They're gonna have to eat what I can uh, plant. There was a pile of here we are. Here, here they are. I knew I saw some when we picked up that lock. We moved that locks. Yeah, so they just get the uh, they get the flax and the barley. I meant to give them barley earlier. I just didn't read the thing right. Uh, looks like nighttime's coming too. Any more clouds? We got tar that spawns down over there. We got something laying on the ground here. Oh, here's a locks. How's your health? You're fine. You're 100%. Okay. We'll leave him there. Oh, Cloudberry's right over here. A few more. Then we gotta go home. We're done here. I got a few Cloudberries to make a few potions, stamina potions, if I need them. So that was the main idea here. here. The rest of it can come with me. Shut the door. Off we go. Oops. Hoppity hop hop hop. I believe blocks do eat cloud berries. Okay, cloud berries acquired, at least a few. I can come back and do more of that on my own. But there we go, a little over a stack. That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable right there with that, I think. I'm going to take this barley and turn that into... Let's throw that in this thing, the windmill, since it's whipping right along here. I'm going to go around the other side, don't I? Missing out on a fire pit, huh? Okay. We'll have to get. Uh, we'll have to get her fire pit. I know she's got three mini bosses. You got to go do. She's got like some of her stuff is missing, right? Stolen or missing, and it's being held in three different types of dungeons. One of their one of the first dungeons they've done now. It's an above ground dungeon for Hildy. That just sounds like a lot of fun, you know couple underground ones and then above ground. That's pretty cool to see the big giant tower out there. So, uh, 
everybody kind of left me ideas as to where I should go look for her. So we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. Today I wanted to make sure we got our stuff kind of situated here. Make sure I still got my stuff. What stuff do I have? Stuff, stuff, and more stuff. I got some cooked tails in there. Oh, there's a battle going on on the shoreline over there. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a there's a big old dude over there just beating the crap. Oh, he died. What do we got is it like maybe it's uh Grey Dwarfs and Oh no, there's a Oh, I see, I hear uh I hear a couple of uh <laughs> the feelings over there. Oh, they're just all uh, yeah, there you can see the feeling torch running around out there. <laughs> Ugh, eerie, right? Yeah, the viewlings are still standing. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's take a sleep. Rascal, you rascal! The black tower looks very hard. I've not seen it, so that's that's the exciting part. You know, it's always fun to come back, to, especially Valheim or even in Shroud. I feel like it's going to be one of those games where you come back to it and say, "Oh, this is so good," you know. I really do like Valheim a lot. Valheim is just beautiful. Another great building game. Another great use your imagination. Another great we're not going to take your stuff away from you just because you made a mistake putting it down. Just go ahead and pick that thing up and put it where you want to put it. You know? Put it where you want to put it. Mistakes can be made. I love that. Uh, I need to put this away. Still waiting to kill those chickens, aren't I? Okay, we've got some stuff to put away. I got money in my pocket too, which I didn't realize. I should have known because we did the fueling killings. We got a little bit of gold in our pocket. Is this our gold chest? It is our gold chest. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Money, 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 money. Rascal. What's the tar? Those tar doors. Those are really cool. I love those doors. They're really nice. Are those the tar doors? Yeah, it's the tar doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got a few needles and a piece of resin. Uh, the needles are going to be over in here in the arrow box. I need to put you away. <clears throat> I got two pieces of wood. I could put one piece of wood in there. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. All right, and we are going to go through that home portal today too. I want to see where that drops me off at. I'm going to say it's going to be the Mislins. Um Piece of wood. Okay, chickens. We're killing chick. What are you doing? Getting some food. Oh, what a good little lox. Yeah, we need the, we need a lox pen here for sure. All right, chickies. Chicka 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 poos. Watch out. Oh, God. Watch out. Cha. Cha. Oh, gotcha. Alright. We got some chickens and some feathers. Let's put the feathers over here. We didn't get very much, but, uh, well, I guess we're doing pretty good in the feather front, aren't we? Huh, look at there. I don't know, you say that, and then you start using it, and it's like, oh, I don't have any. <laughs> Georgina, you can't play in Shrouded? How come? Uh, Terry, any plan to breed Rascal or have more wolves at home? I would actually like to eventually get to the level 2 wolves. I know we've got to spend time at night in the mountains, but... And it's a rarity. It's like a 1% like a chance a level 2 wolf would spawn, but... I wouldn't mind trying that out to see if I can get to level two. Yeah, I got living chickens. Of course I've got living chickens. Are you kidding me? Jasmine and Henrietta are right out here. Please. Those are my girls. I'd never kill my girls. We do need to feed them, though. So they lay some more eggs, because we like that. 
Uh, I could just keep it to see what warm. Oh, that's right. You gotta have. Okay, so that was the area we were hatching our eggs. So I could hatch some more. Let's take half of those. We'll throw those down up there and hatch them. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of barley. A little bit of barley. Let's do. Yeah, let's do 20. What the heck? Let's do 20. Let's barley the, the, these ladies up. And we'll go put some eggs down for cooking. For hatching. Whoop. In we go. And I think it's easiest to drop this stuff from up here. Food. There you go. Come on, chicky poos. Chicky, 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 chicky. Oh, there she goes. Look at that. Love is in the air. Oh, happy chickens. Boop. Oh, I'm hungry too. Oh, Georgina's is playing on Xbox. Okay, so it's not on Xbox. I'm... We'll, we'll, we'll hope for you, Georgina, that they release this on console. Or not Valheim, but um, Entrapped. And what else was I doing? I was going to go throw some eggs down. Don't you have to throw them out one at a time? Something like that? I don't think I can throw all of them out. Right? Okay, so that doesn't work that way. So yeah, I've got to go in here and I gotta throw them. But it does have to be separate, right? Yeah. Seems silly, huh? Okay, and I don't want them all clumped up next to each other either. I think there's an easier way to do this. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, those are just falling right on top of each other. I made that look very difficult. Georgina was very excited when the game came when Valheim came to console. Small land is now. Oh, Small land is on console too now, huh? Wow. Small land is pretty cool, but it's got more of that. I, I enjoyed Small land. I did. I liked it. It's just that. I always know that the same creature is going to be at the same location each and every time. We've talked about that recently in these two series. Valheim has got that kind of worked out better than even Enshrouded does. Because Enshrouded, you know these characters are going to be in here. This is how many of them are going to be. And, you know, that sort of thing. When you're walking down the road, you know that there's going to be some boars right over there. You're going to have a, a plant or two that's going to spit things at you over here. And where Valheim has got more of an organic feel to it, where, like last night, we had this big fight on the beach, all that stuff is laying out there in the water, I should go get that, that's just free stuff sitting there. Um, it just gives you that sense of um, open world more, I guess. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed Small Land. I did too. For what it was, what it was, I really enjoyed it. It was a challenging game too, man. I tell you, it was challenging. Some of those boss fights were something else. Hey there, Nick. Get, get frosted, buddy. Get yourself frosted. Get your frosting right here. Oh, look at all these guts. Nice. Uh, I will drop you. Yeah, there's a big old battle royale right here, wasn't there? Big old fight. Awesome. Did I get everything? Except for that head, huh? 
Oh, there's a there's a piece of wood over here too. We'll take that right there. All right, nice. Got it, got it, got it. I never quite got this path worked out either up onto the hill where our tree farm is. I was going to kind of cut a path in here and, and wind it on up to the top. I really should do that. That was something that was uh, being worked on. And then we're going to do kind of a stone retaining wall along here to kind of hold back the hillside. Mm-hmm. I remember. Georgina, definitely. The updates are even more brutal. I know they've added some interesting things to it for sure. It's a small land, that is. There's a bird I know now. <laughs> There's a bird you could ride. The creatures were just never fun to ride. They just didn't seem to be very... Um, I don't, they just didn't seem to help very much. They were good for a couple fights, maybe, and then, boom, they're done. But the amount of work it took to get them uh, was a bit more than I expected. And bones... Resin. And the almighty blue eye. Very good. Axe back on the hot bar. Look at this, man. Got our chores taken care of around here. Let's go ahead and uh, close our doors. We are going to go through the home portal next here. I want to see what happens. Everything repaired. That looks good. Uh, this needs some repair. I bet the bow needs repair. We have to go out to the um, other room. We go to the Mistlands Forge. Uh, yes, please. I will drop you in there. And there's some more necktails and a few more pieces of the chicken. We'll keep a few pieces of wood on us for no other reason than I have it there and I'm going to keep it because I don't want to go put it away. <laughs> and over here. Did we take a look at this? I think we did. We haven't been in here yet today. This I don't think is a very good idea. Should I be having the obliterator in here? I just don't feel like this is right. It's supposed to be off by itself somewhere, right? I know this this material protects, but I don't think I want this in here. Georgina says my Valheim series are favorite. Nice. Terry says, the attacks on base thing is the main difference currently. Persnickety says, uh, Lens Island has gotten a lot of new updates and co-op coming when it releases in July. That was a fun little game there, Lens Island. That was a fun little one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember that this thing is what, it shoots off the sparks, right? It shoots off sparks, those little purple sparks, and they cause damage. So that's why this guy is, is caged down here, right? I, re I remember that. This guy here, though, this little recycler thing, or what you could swap for, I remember it was sitting out here all by itself before we put this building in, which took me forever and a day to figure out the layout and get it down. I'm... Not so sure it's supposed to be inside. I think I put it there just because it was in the way. So let me know about that one. Uh, okay, so we need to find the home portal and go through it. I do love this black marble, though. It looks pretty sweet. And I anybody who may be new and doesn't know, this is where we keep our level 2 boars, our two breeders. Our, our main boars are in there. Just like we've got the two chickens, we've got the two boars tucked away so they're a little bit safer. Not that these guys are safe. Most of the attacks come from that direction, but they never seem to get to the shoreline. So how are we doing with the eggs over here? We get some eggs laid? Oh, look at you. You did. Uh, I think you're still working on the ocean wall to keep water out of the farm area. I think so too, but I don't know if I can actually do that. Can I? Just because I put a wall there doesn't mean the water's going to not come up and over that. Look at you, you got a little egg in here too for me, huh? Nice work, ladies, nice work. All right, I'll take a couple eggs. I think they despawn, don't they, after a little while? You gotta be kind of Johnny on the spot with them. All right. Oh, 
Home portal, I believe, is the one we saw right over here, right? That's Frost Cave 2. This is home. Oh, I'm really nervous about this. Um, all right, let's go see what's let's go see what's over here. I believe the Ida refinery will shoot sparks through the gap in the roof. Oh, this is the Mistlands one. Through the gap in the roof, I suspect it needs some adjustments. Uh, the shapes of the marble wish they would have them in stone too. Maybe wanting too much. Uh, I don't know, Georgina. Maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll update that. This is the this is Mistlands, isn't it? Yeah, this is not. Why, why do I have this and then I've got another Mistlands portal? This should not be home. Why is this labeled home? Um. Okay. I screwed up my portal somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where, but I know I did. I remember that. So that was home. Home takes me to Mistlands. So my question is, where does the Mistlands portal take me? Forgot to change it before moving the boat. Different island of Mistlands, really? Let's go see. like fight music immediately Ugh, sloppy. I know. Okay, I remember this. This is our very first Mistlands drop that we went to, right? This is where we first came. Mistlands is right there. I remember that. I do remember that. Those locks are not ours. <laughs> and we'll attack if we get too close to them. Come on. There we go. Uh, all right, so hmm. I feel like this one doesn't need to be here anymore. What do I have in here? Black metal, turnip stew. I got a few things in here that I don't need over here. Like the cores, I don't need that. I don't need any of this stuff over here. Let's take all that with us. Oh, sorry, Terry. I didn't open the map there. We can go back through and take a look. You're right. I should take a look at that. Um, this was our very... Yeah, this was our first Mistlands we came to. And I think we got a couple of things we needed just to kind of get started. And then we went off and found that other location, the Mistlands, that had some really great stuff. Um, let's go back to the map. Yeah, let's go to the map. We're way the heck out here. Where the heck out there? We got some. We had some. It looks like we had a frost cave up here. It says ship right there across the way from us. Hmm. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if there's a ship sitting over there. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. There might be. Gold Dragon, you're right. This was definitely the first taste of the Mistlands was right there. Um, if I took that Mistlands down, there was one here labeled Frost Cave. Is that going to possibly take me over to... Modder is up in the... Okay, Modder, Bone Mass, that Swamp. Yaglith is going to be the plains. We've got the Swamp here. Frost Cave. Let's go through here real quick. I'm curious if this is going to take me over to where the ship is sitting. If the ship is there, I could sail across. I could swap out that portal. 
Got nothing in here. Wow, this is tight. <laughs> um, map. Okay, we're up north as far as we are. We could be here too. So that is not going to take me over to where it says there's a boat. See, I've got the ship at home, so I don't know that that's actually accurate anymore. That might not be true. It says it there. But I'm pretty notorious for not removing markers on my map after I get stuff. I noticed that the sea serpent is going to be getting a change on the game. Frost Cave 2 is down here. And I think we kind of cleared all this out too. I think we finished this down here. I can't I can't be for sure though. It's been a while. I guess if I look back at the episodes I could find out, huh? Oh, two serpents. They're going to add a serpent. Hi, Chihuahua. We actually don't have a sea serpent head either. Um, so we just got a little hut up here, and it looks like the mountain is up that way for uh, going after stuff. Frost cave, okay. I was just thinking if I went over to that Mistlands, if I went over to that Mistlands and I tore down that portal and then I went over to the other portal that says home, I could change that one to Mistlands and then we would travel back and forth between those portals and then I have my home portal back. I don't have any idea where home two portal is. I'm going to assume I picked it up when I jumped back in the boat and came home. I believe there was also Mistlands below Frost Cave 2. I probably so, yeah. I know we were bumping into it a fair amount. Watch it, Seagull. You almost ran into my head. Yeah, we're going to have to get that... Um, Gonna have to get that sorted out. I guess I'd have to take the boat there, though, huh? God, I have to take the boat all the way there. Right? Day 800. I have to take the boat all the way out here. To see if that ship is there. If the ship's not there, then whatever. But I'm gonna need a boat. I guess I could take the boat and put it in my inventory and just sail across here, right? Real fast and see if it's there. Instead of sailing all the way there, take the boat with me, build it over there, sail across, see if it's there. If it's not there, boom. Sail back, and I can swap that portal out. Who's talking to me? <laughs> You're dead. It's pouring rain, it's nasty out. Uh, Barbex says there's a new NPC to unlock. It has new tables and chairs. That's nice. Can I walk it? Uh, I don't. No, I don't think you can walk across this water. This is pretty deep, if I remember right. Yeah, you can't walk across here. This is this is pretty deep. It looks to me like we found some mountain up here too, which could possess the parts we need for our Fenris armor. I think that's what that is, right? Uh, then we've got a frost cave over here we were fooling around with too. Maybe there's, uh, maybe there is mountain through here. I don't know. I don't think there is. I believe there's a water pass through here. But yeah, I could take a boat here, drop it in the water, sail across, see if there's a ship here. I wonder if I could see if there's a ship there. Right? Just flat out see it. I don't know that you can look that far. Um, I don't know.
I know we're doing some backtracking here, but I'm just trying to get myself uh, re-familiarized with the whole thing. It has been a while since I have been in here for sure. Mislins. I didn't take the boat with me because I don't want to, you know, lose it. Map. Okay, yeah, I don't know that we're going to be able to see across here. Just make sure nothing's coming after me here. Ah, oh, mislins. Gross. Oh, it's terrifying. I don't... I can't see. It's too foggy at the moment. Oh, so dangerous in there. It's like eyes looking at me over there. I was kind of hoping I'd just be able to see, but I don't think I'm going to be able to see over there. It just It's just too far. It should be right over there. Um, I guess I can go get the boat. What I'd like to have is one of the smaller boats. Just so I could do, like, for just something like this. Just for this particular instance. If I lose it, it's no big deal. Maybe I'll make another one. We used to have two boats. We had a big boat and a small boat. And I know we lost a boat once by the swamp. And I think we, uh, maybe I left that boat laying around over there. What do we got in here? Wood and tin and I've got nothing in here. Is there a boat here, maybe? Uh, let's look around this little island and see if maybe I got a boat sitting here on the shore. You never know. Uh, we usually used to have one right around here. Repair. Does it need repair? Hmm. Sitting out in the weather like this, you think it need repair. Uh, yeah, we don't have a boat here. Jump. There we go. There you go. A raft? That sounds dangerous. <laughs> a raft? I, I don't think I've even built the raft in this game. Just the word raft sounds extremely unsafe to me. Very much so. Let's go get on a raft. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go get on a boat. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Do we have a boat? Down? We don't. See, we used to have our small one here, but I think we were having issues with trolls walking over here and, you know, just banging on crap, so we had to move it. Do I have a backup boat stuff in here? I don't. All right, so I don't. I'll drop you guys in there. I got some of these puke berries in my pocket. Don't know why, but I do. Barf berries in there. A decent amount of coal. There we go. Needles. We made a new dock over by the furnace. I think we were going to expand the dock a little bit, possibly there. You know what? I'm going to take that back. Uh, do we have any of these in here that I need to check for fuel? Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. Oh, I hear baby chicks. Hey, chickies. I'm not going to open the door because they'll get out. But yeah, we got some baby chicks. I heard them. Okay, sweet. Little chicks are chirping. Excellent. I like these because you don't have to feel them. I'm switching to that stuff for sure in everything in this in this world. I love these. I love the... the I just like the fact that I don't have to refuel them. It's just a time saver. 
Uh, we can now grow the red trees, the yucca, and the revelwood trees. Really? The revelwood trees? Well, then I could chop down what I need to chop down at our new base location and replant anywhere I want to. Sweet. That is really good news. Thank you, Barbaric. That's really good news. That's, we're talking about Australia when we say that, too, by the way. Done and done. Give me your juice. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Got it. And... Uh, drop you in there and drop you in there. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. Potions look pretty good. Not too shabby. I got some extra food in here. Some of this, uh, whatever that is. Turnip stew. Uh, did I have some extra sausages too? I did. All right, we'll throw that in there. Well, not an extra, but there it is. And I got some glow moon. There we go. Glowberries. Cloudberries, not glowberries, cloudberries. All right, sweet. We'll go check on the boat. We've not been out in the forge area yet today. Uh, uh, hello, what are you doing roaming about? Hello, how did you get out? Oh, I wonder if it just spawned, it hatched and fell right out the wall. We've got us a wild one, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. A wild chicken. Rarely seen. Where'd it go? Hello, chicky boo. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. Oh, he wants to get in with mom. <laughs> Spindle now does string. Oh, a little chicken running around. See, that's how I would do it. I just have free range. They just be they be loose. They go back to their coop at night, and then in the morning I'd go out and say hi to them, and I'd open their coop up, and they all come outside, just run around, and do their thing. Ah, nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave it alone. It's not worth even thinking about. We'll just our locks looks like it's laying down, doesn't it? <laughs> Stone. There you go. Okay. You were just being weird there for a second. Gotcha. Alright, out in the forge area. We were working on this. It was the last thing we kind of did. We uh, redid our pathway out to what is, of course, where we're working with the Eider and stuff. This wasn't here uh, at the end of last episode. I believe we worked on the wall and did this. I don't know that we can actually stop the water from coming up and over the top. It's just a thing it does. I guess maybe if I brought this whole island up a bit more... You know, a block or two up higher and then built, it probably would not have that effect, but we just don't have that going for us, right? Uh, new decorations in a clutter category, things like jewelry boxes, crystal balls, globes, just to name a few, way more than the teaser lets on. Oh, very good. Oh, man, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun episode this afternoon. I'm looking forward to uh, recording this afternoon, then. Okay, I think we're good here. This feels good, though, to come back in here and see what I've got going on. Am I am I looking good? Do we need to do anything? We've got a brazier up here. There we go. We'll do that right there. Okay. Oh. I thought I saw a brazier up there. Okay, we're good there. You've got some wood in you. You're fine. I think we did a pretty good job with our maintenance around here. I can hear those baby chickens way over here, but I'm thinking it's the one. Oh, there you are. Why are you so sweaty? Oh, 
Oh, what's wrong with the chicken? Why is he looking so sweaty? <laughs> that seems weird to me. What's wrong with you? What does it say? Doesn't say anything over it. He's just sweating buckets, though. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, it'd be so cool if he got up to that door. No? No? I don't think it's going to work. I could corral it. I'm not worried about it. Right now, it's just uh, a distraction. Oh, he's wet. Okay, that makes sense. Well, he's staying awfully wet. No? <laughs> it's like when I let my cat's out in the garage. So that, you know, you open the garage, you're like, ooh, a new room in the house I can go into. Every time. <laughs> it's just funny. The chickens do the same thing to me. And then you want to bring the cats back in from the garage. And they're like, I don't think so. I'm still exploring around out here, you know. Could we have just a few more minutes in the garage? How did I get the chicken? Um... I hatched an egg. Uh, unfortunately, well, that one I must have had an egg too close to a wall or the door or something. And when it spawned, it spawned right through it. But we have a bunch of babies in here. We should have a handful, right? Yeah, there, there we go. We've got two more eggs in here. I think I probably maybe have too many. I don't know. Can you have too many baby chickens? And the game says, uh-uh, you can't have any more. I don't know. I need you to move over there, though, so you don't get out. Yeah, I'm thinking one was up close to either the door here or the wall when it hatched and it popped through. In terms of getting chickens, you have to go to Halder, right? Halder gives you the what you need to get the uh, chicken started. No, I want your egg. There you go. That's the girl. There we go. Let's make sure the chicken stays out there. And there we go. We got some eggs. Eggs, eggs, marvelous eggs. Okay. I feel like we've kind of got ourselves caught up here. What those are in there for? Food goes over here. Eggs are also in the Black Tower chest too. The Black Tower meaning that new the new mini boss that you fight for um, Hildy. In that Black Tower, or in is is that the name of the? I because it didn't spend a while, Georgina. But yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, the new mini boss that Hildy sends you out to go get uh, some stuff for her. Do I want to do this today? God, it makes me really nervous to think I'm going to go jump on the water my first day back on here after months of being gone. I just don't know if there's a boat. I was going to see about making a small boat, right? Let's see about a small boat. I realize that one is faster. I realize that. But I would hate to lose that boat. I think I can make one right in here. Uh, actually, it's with the hammer, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Miscellaneous. There's the raft. Uh, the 
carve, and then the long ship. What's the carve? Bronze and nails, huh? Uh, I don't have a, a boat in the dock at all. Yeah. Um, God, do I even have the fine wood? I don't think I have that to do this, actually. I need 30 pieces of the fine wood. Hey, little chicky. I've got one. <laughs> one there. And I think that's all I have. Oh, here we go. Okay, we needed 30 of those. I needed some... Was it uh, the deer hide? And uh, what was the other thing? 20 resin and 80 bronze nails. Ooh, that, that's probably check on the nails first, huh? 80 bronze nails? Holy moly, that's that's something. I got 14. I got one piece of bronze, so I don't even have enough. Well, hold on. I've got a little bit of... Oh, I've only got 7, 10, and 23 of those. Do that. Bronze nails times 20. Ooh, that's expensive, huh? No, I don't want to use a raft, gold dragon. You don't, you, you're not going to get me to go sit on a little piece of wood in the ocean. No, uh uh. No way, no say, as my daughter used to say when she was little. No way, no say. Uh 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 uh. I don't float my butt on the water on a bunch of little sticks. I'd rather have a boat. And just the 20 resin, and then we're good to go. And it's going to be nighttime again already. Golly, man. We'll just keep that in our pocket, and we'll go out there and drop it and, and sail away and see about, you know. We'll see if there's a ship over there. If there is, great. If there's not, oh well. I'll have a backup. Is there backup stuff for a boat in here, maybe? Ah, there sure is. <laughs> it's in here. Okay, that's all right. Well, we got more. Probably could have just taken those nails, but we'll leave those there. My backup boat is in the nice chest next to our bed. We now know that for sure. I looked in there earlier, didn't see it. Uh, Nightmare Gamer, hello, says always keep mats for a carve in my forge just in case. There it is, an empty sock puppet. I thought I saw boat mats in a chest by bed. <laughs> you were all right, you did. Yeah, they're here. Yeah, they're here. Now we'll just chalk that up to a radio moment right there, and we will move along. Mm-hmm. Is it raining again? No, it's not raining again, right? No, it's not. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go out there, and we'll sail across that little bay. Inner Tranquility, hello. Guys, enjoy the stream. Make sure you hit the like button for me. It helps. It does. I know. That's what we say. That's what we have to say. Mislins, I think. I think that's where we're going, right? Oh, boy. Uh, we're not actually going into Mistlands, though. No, this is the... This is the other... This isn't the right one. This isn't the one on the shoreline. It's Mistlands 2, right? Is that the one we want? No, this is the right one. Yeah, that's the right one. All right. Uh, I think I can build it from here. The cob. Beautiful. Oh.
Ship ahoy, ship ahoy. Okay, we'll scroll back so you guys can see, hopefully. Careful. Boy, it turns fast. Yeah, there's all these do fish species species as well that they they put in here, you know. Uh, doesn't look like we left a boat over here. We must have at one time, and I didn't label it on the map. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and get rid of that then. There we go. Well, I guess I could go back. Have I kept track of the Unity updates for Rising World? Yes, you guys have been great about telling me when they have an update, and I follow it too, just to see when there's an update. I'm waiting for them to get it finished updating. I want them to get the caves and stuff back in before I even think about going back into it. Trophy heads to make the bait to catch them. Oh, that's right, Georgina. Huh? Yeah, you do use trophy baits to catch the uh, the fish to make the bait. Yeah. The caves are there, but not the dungeons. I should say the dungeons. Then I'm looking for the dungeons. I'm looking for it to be completed to where it was when we stopped playing it last time. Where the enemies are there. The there's oh, there's a puffer fish that jumped out of the water there in front of us. It needs to go back to where it was. They're not even. It's not the game's not back to where it was. It's been forever and a day. It's a water path to the south. Go through this way. I'm thinking about getting rid of this um, portal altogether here. Somebody's nose right there. Did I get everything back? Did I get everything back? Yeah. I got everything back and then some. So I do not have a boat sitting there. That answers that. Tranquility, I'm weird maybe, but I like the old version better. The fancy graphics is too much for me, or maybe it's nostalgia. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good before, too. I, I guess there were people complaining. Then again, it depends on what the developers want. What was their vision to begin with, you know? 
I know they wanted to make a realistic outdoor world game. They were doing pretty good. People complained about the lumpy, bumpy ground, but I didn't see a big problem with it because you could manipulate the terrain all the time. So I think that was a big complaint. Maybe they were trying to try to get some of that that lumpy bumpiness out of it and just have it look a little more natural. It's just it's it's taking quite a while, and I realize it's just, they're all by themselves doing it. There's like one guy or two guys working on it, but it's been a little while. It's been years, actually. Years. Wow, that's not even an understatement, is it? It has been years. Uh, wolf fangs go in here. And then I've got three pieces of coal. Mm. Delicious. And I will put you guys right in there for just in case. All right, so we got that. So we don't have a ship out there. How do I get rid of that mislins? Portal out there. If I just go out there and break it, I could break it and then I could just bring it back to me. And then... I'm trying to think of how to best do this. My home portal is my home portal is going out to our current Mislins location. So I would go out there, take that portal, and turn it into Mislins. Mislins, Earth, yes, this inner tranquility. I'm with you on the Earth. Um, yeah, that's what I need to do, right? Because I have a Mislins portal in here. I just need to get rid of the wrong portal. The one that says home needs to come out. The one that says missed. Okay, and then if I go into here, this takes me to where we just were. And if I tear this one out and have a boat nearby, I could just jump on a boat. Yeah, I could jump on my boat and, and go home and then we'd have our, our thing. Yeah, I have to boat back home. Exactly, that's the idea. Okay, so I'm going to have to, no matter what, I have to take a boat back home. I'm going to have to take a boat back home. Or take a boat to some other nearby portal to get to. Are there any other portals nearby us when we, when we get out of there? Not really, huh? We're in the middle of freaking nowhere out there. Leave it for the Northlands expansion? Uh, yeah, but I, I, I guess I could just unname it, huh? That one says Mislins. It's the one that says home that is broken. I'd like to get rid of the home two portal. That's not hooked up to anything, so I'd like to actually get rid of that one. I just want one home portal. But my home two portal is not attached to anything. That's just it. I've got the home two portal sitting right over here. I don't need this one anymore. I put this here because we were jumping in and out of here, and this is our storage, so it was easy to do this. And I wanted to, I would like to actually take this and turn this into, maybe take this down back in here and put this over here and have this as our home portal. Because every time we come through it, at least I can go to our initial storage area and drop off a lot of the stuff that we have in our pockets. But that's for new areas when we're out exploring. We drop a portal, we jump through, we drop our stuff, we sleep, we eat, blah, 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 jump back in, boom, off we go again. Like, I have no rest buff. I guess I do. I've got comfort seven right now. I'm rested. No, I got 14. 14 minutes. Um, yeah, so. Well, what I could do. I've got home here, right? So if I put another portal here or in the portal area and I label it what I want my Mislins portal to be that I have in the area where we're actually doing the Mislins farming and going to the... It's, it's actually where we're adventuring. 
I can go. I could go through the home portal, get to there, pick up the home portal, rename it to the one I have here, and we're good to go. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing, the other thing I was wondering about in the Mislins. Oh, God, we're going back out there. Hold on. We've only got a few minutes left in stream. But I, I'm, I was thinking to myself that this is really out in the open right here, right? Very, very dangerous, this location right here. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to grow mushrooms and stuff here, but it didn't happen. What the hell is standing over there? There's our boat. <laughs> There's our boat. There it is. It's stuck up underneath the dock. Yeah, there's a dude over there walking around. I was thinking maybe what might not be a bad idea is to dig straight into this mountainside here and put our base on the inside of the rocks. Is what I was thinking. There's our boat, you guys. It's right there. This one's labeled home. So what I need to do is I need to bring another portal out here and set it down and I need to rename it something else. Go back through and place a portal that has the same name as this one back at the portal hub and then I should be connected and then I don't have to take a boat anywhere. Unless I want to move the other Mislins one way up north. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. I think it's nice to have the portals north and south because we can just go to it and drop a ship in the water and then we don't have to travel all the way there in the water. That's what I think. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with that. What should we name that one? Because it's it's the Mislins for Pete's sake. Um, should we name it Hell on Earth? <laughs> Mislins or I Can't See Land? What, what do you think? Which one? Which one should it be? But that's what I can do to resolve that issue. Hey, piggies. Nice. What do we pick up on of that? There we go. 81 seeds. And yeah, now I thanks for reminding me about the fish bait too. The fish bait's kind of expensive, huh? No digging under mountains or making your cave. I can definitely break through those rocks though. Those rocks go way up in the sky. I'm not gonna unearth them and make them unstable, but if I dig a hole through it, it's gonna be, you know, chipped and stuff like that and weird looking, but at least it's in the ground, right? It's underground, I think. The only reason I say that is sometimes those those puff bladder ball things, those big giant ticks in the sky, <laughs> whatever whatever they're called, show up and um, start shooting at me there. Yeah, yeah, Terry. Yeah, we just yeah. I'll come up with something and we'll we'll do that. We'll uh, I'll get that stuff. Uh, I'll get that portal figured out. Easy peasy. And then I want my home portal back here set up just so that when we go out, like if I'm going to go like to the swamp and I'm not, it's a new area, whatever it is, where we happen to be and we need to get home, then I've got my home portal. That's what we're going to do. I don't want to have a home and a home two portal. That's just too confusing, especially for someone like myself. It's got to be pretty simple and spelled out properly here. One thing really, and, and Shrouded has it too, is the music is just fantastic. I love being in here with the music. 
Can you guys hear that alright, or is it too low? Alright, there we go. Everybody's planted. Oop. We have onions again. Yeah, I want to get that portal out of there. It's in the, it's in the way. Yeah, I didn't do I didn't repair my bow when we were out here earlier. Let me uh, run out there and do that real fast. He's not sweating anymore. He must have been wet. He sure did stay wet. Maybe it's just because that whole area kind of... Um, I think sometimes, you know, these locations, although you're on the ground, it, it, it still registers a little bit of water in here. I think that's what makes them wet. Oh, <laughs> the chicken was in the way. Okay. <laughs> He's finding a way to just get right in front of me. And number six. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, 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 Terry. That's right. This is... If I remember right, when we set up that Mistlands area back there, I got pretty flustered because of it's the Mistlands. And I had my home portal there, and I forgot to set up the correct portal over there. Then I realized I didn't do that, and instead of dealing with it at the time, I thought, I'll just do a home two portal, and we'll use that one to jump around in. So I was using this to jump around, and I don't want to use this anymore. So yeah, we are definitely going to get us back to just home and uh, do that. Uh, maybe what I do is um, I could even take this one instead of Mislin's portal. I could name that uh, Northern Northern something about. We got a portal way the heck up here, Frost Cave. You know, it's way up there. That's the northern area. Anyways, we'll work it out. It's no big deal. We've got this area really well kind of discovered, but I have a feeling we're going to be able to find Hildy somewhere in here, I hope. I would hope. You know? Tony says you can hear the music all right. Okay. West Portal question. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we'll, we'll name it something else. Western Portal, Northern Portal. Yeah. Anyways, we'll figure it out, right? It's not that big a deal. We can figure this out. Alright, well today, I think we did some pretty good work. We got everybody fed, except for Rascal. Oh, but he's not doing any breeding, so he seems fine. The Lox is fed. She does some fighting. We got the trees planted. We got some food planted. We got some food cooked. Uh, we explored a little bit of the portals. I think everything is in ship shape. One... In terms of ores, we don't have a lot of iron. We don't have a lot of ores. And I need to come back in and figure out where I am at with the whole Mislins thing. Where am I with the Mislins? How far did we get? We've got this bow. But I need to go and, and figure that out as well. So uh, that'll be coming up in a another stream. I don't know when we're going to do this again, but we will do it again for sure. Okay, guys. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your help today in Valheim. This afternoon, I'll go ahead and take a look at Enshrouded and do a little video on that for you later this afternoon and into this evening. Uh, so I want you all to have an awesome... A <laughs> I will, Terry. I will feed Rascal. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.